Hey, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can set up your NVIDIA graphic card for God of War Ragnarok. This includes all of the best settings on NVIDIA control panel and other settings on your PC that may be potentially helping you guys to improve your FPS, improve your visibility, and also fix all kinds of errors and black screen issues in the game. I hope this guide helps you out, so make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one, if you have an NVIDIA graphic card, is downloading GeForce Experience. You can simply look up for this application on the internet and you'll find it. Simply download it and once you're over here, you'll find the GeForce Game Ready Driver. Click on check for updates and make sure that this is always up to date. If not, I highly recommend you guys to update it to the latest version because this will fix a lot of issues in the game. Step number two is the best NVIDIA control panel settings itself. And for that, you have to simply search for NVIDIA control panel on your PC. And if you don't have it, you can download it from Microsoft Store. Once this window open up in front of you, you have to click on use the advanced 3D image settings and then click on take me there. Once you're here, head over to program settings and then click on add. Over here, click on browse and then go to the download location of your game. Once you're in the game folder, click on GOWR and then click on open and they should be added into the list. Over here, copy the exact same settings. Image scaling should be turned on. Anisotropic filtering, you have to set this thing to 2x. FXAA should be turned off. Gamma correction should be turned on. Anti-aliasing mode should be set to application control. Anti-aliasing transparency should be turned off. Background application max frame rate. Turn this thing on and set this to 20 FPS. Then head over to CUDA GPUs and then select your graphic card over here. That is all. CUDA system fallback policy. You have to set this thing to driver default. Low latency mode should be turned ultra. Max frame rate should be set to off. Monitor technology. If you have G-Sync available, you can turn this thing on. But I recommend you guys to set a fixed frame rate. MFAA should be turned off. Open GL GDI compatibility. Set this thing to prefer performance. Open GL rendering GPU. Set this thing to your graphic card. This is the most important one. Power management mode should be set to prefer maximum performance. Texture filtering quality, set this thing to performance. Texture filtering trilinear optimization, turn this thing on. Threaded optimization, turn on. Triple buffering should be turned off. Vertical sync should be set to use the 3D application setting. And then Vulkan OpenGL present method, set this thing to auto. Once you're done with that, click on apply and these are the best settings for God of War Ragnarok. Head down to the most important part that is configure surround and physics. And since a lot of you guys have been facing graphic card issues and selection between your hardware graphic card and your CPU graphic card, what you have to do is for the physics settings processor, set this thing to your graphic card instead of your CPU. And once you're done with that, you have to head down to adjust video color settings. And then over here, you have to click on with NVIDIA settings on both of your display and head over to advanced and set this thing to full if it is set to limited. This will boost your black and improve your visuals right away. Next step is creating a restore point and for that you have to search for create a restore point on your PC and once you're over here head over to your local disk C, click on create and name it God of War Ragnarok just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step to ensure that you do not lose any data if you want to revert all of the settings back to normal. Once that is done, click on close and close system properties. Next step is the God of War NVIDIA optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below and you can also join my Discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. Once you're here, you'll find in four simple registry files that you have to double click and run each one of them. This will help you to improve your GPU energy driver, power throttling, increase the efficiency of your power consumption on your PC and the most important one that is nvidia sfio high priority all four of them will together help you to prioritize your nvidia graphic card to render the game and improve the performance right away next step is going into settings and then head over to gaming go over to game mode and turn this thing on i highly recommend you guys to enable game mode as it disables notifications and applications running in the background to improve your fps head back to graphics and then you'll find a change default graphic settings over here enable both hardware accelerated gpu scheduling this will use your physical hardware graphic card and then optimization for windowed games to reduce your render latency and improve your fps head back to graphics and then click on the browse button over here and then go over to the install location of your game once you're here click on god of war exe and then add it head over to options then select high performance and then click on save 
Once that is done, you can simply close it. Next step is setting up a correct power plan on your PC. And for that, simply search for control panel on your PC. And once you're over here, look up for power options. Once you're in power options, you can select high performance or ultimate performance if that is available on your PC. Both of them will help you to optimize the power consumption and improve the performance right away. Once you're done with all of these steps, try dropping into the game and looking if these things have solved your problem. If it did, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. Also, I have made a best settings guide for God of War Ragnarok. So if you guys haven't checked it out already, you can click the link in the description below and go check it out. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.